In this video, we are going to test Google Images versus TinEye reverse image search functionality. Searching images and finding duplicate images of your image on different websites or different portals, it's a daunting task. Like none of the service has found to be efficient in order to do an image search and does an analysis of your image to present the insights to that particular image that you upload to these sites. Uh, basically, image recognition is a very complex, which involves a lot of technologies combined, like computer vision, pattern recognition, neural networks, as well as uh, machine learning. So identifying a particular pattern in an image, analyzing that image and providing the links where that image has been found is uh, in, in a fraction of seconds. It's, it's really a lot of processing power that has put to test. So let's go to the Google image search. First of all, we'll search, we'll upload an image and find us that. So this image, something I uploaded in 2012, 2013 uh, kind of years. And this did uh, that particular image search. It, it recognized the pattern of the photo. It did the size analysis and it found out that uh, the, uh, the analysis found out that I was doing a presentation on that day. So the pattern recognition which the Google image search is using that's been unique and it, it can immediately say that it's a presentation. So are you searching for a presentation close by? So if you go to uh, if, if this is the topic that you want to search and you go to maps, it will list out all the presentation locations maybe and uh, it can help you to do that. Um, you know, book one reservation hall to do the presentation hall. So this is doing an, an analytical type of search. If you go for a tin eye, who are the master, uh, they, they are the market leaders in terms of uh, image recognition. So let's go and upload the same image here. Okay, that image has been found on the internet. So this takes a while. It, it goes to certain billion ima images, billions of images, and in order to recognize your photo. So this is going to take some time. So basically this went to 33.9 billion images in 1.6 second and it found 14 links to that particular image from IT world. The reason why it's pulling this information from IT world, to be frank, I, I no longer answer any questions on IT world. These are all the answers I did on 2012, 2013, 2014. So I no longer answer these images even in fact I deleted this account. So basically, this is the account picture. And if I go to this particular link, you see my profile is not in the IT world anymore. I deleted the profile long back. So this was actually searching. TinEye is actually searching the pages which does not exist anymore, which is really good to identify all of them as false positives and proceed with uh, identifying other links which might cause some, um, you know, you know, some in-depth uh, investigation to do. So that's how the difference between uh, Google Image Search as well as uh, Ping I. Google Image Search is good in doing uh, the pattern recognition, wherein um, Ping I Reverse Image Search is helpful to identify all the hidden as well as the present photos on the entire internet. It, it basically searches 33.9 billion pictures to identify this picture and where all this picture is there. Actually, you can also do some investigation onto this one. Why exactly is these pictures are still shown uh, in, 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 in the crawling? Like uh, when this service crawls the entire internet, why the picture is being shown on this? So something you can do an investigation and you find out what is the exact problem. Now, people say why exactly we need this type of service. Basically, let's imagine you are a studio or you are a photographer and you are doing a lot of photos and you own the copyright for those photos and someone else copies those photos and posts in different websites and they sell those photos. Basically, that uh, can happen. So identifying the duplicate images and searching the entire internet for your pictures and finding your copyrighted pictures to um, you know to get investigated by yourself 
to find out whether that uh, went on to any uh, defaulters of copyright. Uh, basically, Tin Eye also works on different other levels, like they have products like Match Eye, um, Match Engine, and Mobile Engine, um, which can help you to uh, do certain other analysis which are not available in the free search. So that's it, guys, for this video. We did a comparison between Google Images Search as well as Tin Eye Reverse Image Search. Please let me know which one do you think is better and which one do you think is worthly to give it a try. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos and please do subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.